Alright, Shalom, we praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Harakat, the Dash, Double Honest, the Apostles, and Elders, the Great Most Son of the Well, Shalom, all the brothers, and his word, pushing his word, and his sincerity, truth, four corners. Um, yeah, more or less, just gonna touch on, you know, former judgments uh, that kind of went down, which should really just put in your mind what, you know, what's, what's getting ready to come. How much worse it's gonna be? Because um, I was I was looking up like yesterday and this morning as well about like Sri Lanka. And Sri Lanka right now is, is all kinds of fucked up because they've had like uh, basically a problem that's been a long time coming where they kind of were on borrowed time with their economy and whatnot, their ability to sustain themselves. And they're really reliant on trade to be able to um, even have their economy function, have their people able to eat, have them able to drive cars, even to fucking, um, like both of them are watched, they said like, in schools, like, maybe like for the top three or middle three grades of grades, middle three years of, um, of like secondary school, like year nine, year 10, Year 11, some shit like that. They don't. They ain't even doing tests because there's no ink for these men to even like mark the tests. Like these men are fucked, and it's like they've, they've cut off all exports. But even then, because of it's like them and there's a bunch of other countries, they're reliant on like Russia and Ukraine for the bulk of like a lot of their fuel and grain. So they're fucked. So now you're seeing prophecies coming to pass. And now that's going to be a famine for them. That's going to be, they, they, they're going to be all kinds of desolate. But that's the thing, it's like these things that happened before, especially when it comes to Jake. But it's going to be what? On, on a magnitude higher than what's happened before. So I'll start with this. Um, uh, so 2 Samuel 24. One. It says, And the anger of the Lord Jehovah was kindled against Israel, and he moved David against them to say, Go number Israel and Judah. And if you know the law, then you know that numbering Israel is against the law. So, in David pursuing it, then he's going to get judged. So it says, For the king said to Joab, the captain of the host which was uh, uh, with him, Go now for all the tribes of Israel from Dan even to Beersheba and number ye the people that I may know the number of the people. The Joab said unto the king, Now the Lord Yahweh thy power add unto the people how many soever they be, an hundredfold and that the eyes of my lord the king may see. For why doth my king, the, my, no, why doth my lord the king delight in his thing? Notwithstanding the king's word prevailed against Joab and against the captains of the host. And Joab and the captains of the host went out from the presence of the king to number the children of Israel. So yeah, basically, you know, the Lord put the spirit on um, on David to, to, you know, to call for Israel to be numbered. So that what? So that uh, he could then judge, uh, judge Israel. His anger was kindled against him. So I'll skip down a bit. Uh, past the county. Uh, so that's verse 10. It says, And David's heart smote him after that he had numbered the people. And David said unto the Lord Jehovah, I have sinned greatly in that, uh, verse 10, yeah, I said, uh, I have sinned greatly in that I have done, and now I beseech thee, O Lord Jehovah, take away the iniquity of thy servant, for I have done very foolishly. When David was in the morning, for when David was up in the morning, the word of the Lord Jehovah came unto the prophet Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and say unto David, Thus saith the Lord Jehovah, I offer thee three things. Choose thee one of them, that I may do it unto thee. So Gad came to David and told him and said unto him, Shall seven years of famine come unto thee in thy land? Or wilt thou flee three months before thine enemies? while they pursue thee, or that there be three days pestilence in thy land, 
that would buzz and see who answer, I shall return to him that sent me. And David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait. Let us fall now into the hand of the Lord Jehovah, for his mercies are great, and let me not fall into the hands of man. Yeah, so basically between having the, the heathen fuck them up or having a famine, which seven years, seven years of famine would have been le legendarily desolate. So I believe it was um, the same length um, that would have happened back in Egypt with, uh, with Joseph. I think it was seven years. I'll double check this here. But, um, let me know for it. So it says, yeah. So it says, um, Pestilence of the land. So, and David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait. Let us fall now into the hand of the Lord Jehovah. For his mercies are great, and let me not fall into the hand of man. So the Lord Jehovah sent a pestilence upon Israel from morning even to the time appointed, and there died of the people from Dan even to Beersheba, 70,000 men. And when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord Jehovah repented him of the evil and said to the angel that destroyed the people. And said to the angel that destroyed the people, it is enough, stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord Jehovah was by the pressure place of Aruna, the Jebusite. <laughs> it's funny because as well, I think um, would be in a, In Chronicles, yeah, yeah. It might be uh, now. Yeah, it's in Chronicles. First Chronicles twenty-one, and. Um, and 15. So it says, And the Mosai sent an angel unto Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroying, the Lord Jehovah beheld, and he repented him of the evil, and said to the angel that destroyed it, um, It is enough, stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord stood by the pressure floor of Orna and the Jebusite. And David lifted up his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord Jehovah stand between the earth and the heaven, having a drawn sword in his hand, stretched out over Jerusalem. Then David and the elders of Israel, who were clothed in sackcloth, fell upon their faces. There the angel looked at me, uh, with, with, you know, with a two-handed sword in hand, bringing that, that pestilence onto Jacob. That's what, and that was just one angel. And it says, what, 70,000 men got done out. So, we don't, we don't even know the number, because that could be it's got the seven so it's going to be just as yep, the one angel now you're going to have when Yahweh Shai makes his return he's coming with a, he a host coming with numbers innumerable amounts and it's what for war this was a punishment and this was a punishment where it was withheld it didn't even go to the full amount the Lord was like yo you know what I'm going to give you I'm going to, to let uh, you know have it run to a certain extent. But then what? It's, it's, when it comes to now, it's going to be even more, even more legendary. You read this, Daniel 12, 1, says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was, since there was a nation, even to that same time. So yeah, it says it's going to be a, a time of trouble, such as never was. So that's accounting for what's recorded in the book, and accounting for things that happen even after. Because when you when you go into a Revelation, you have what the three worlds. So there's a first, there's a first and a second world, which are referring to the first and second world war. Which you look at them, the scale of destruction on the first world war. That like that you can watch uh, documentaries. People of all kinds of annihilated, man. That was when they're like the, the medical um, 
capabilities were, were being developed during that. So you had people getting limbs blown off, getting their jaw side blown off, and that was trench warfare. So man was just out there, artillery's doing a number on them, blowing them to high hell. These guys would have been 14, 15, 16, 17, young as hell, getting blown to high heaven. Then you had World War II, where it, was, um, it wasn't trench warfare, but military, uh, the military, uh, military development. You had tanks, you had um, air, um, well, World War One. you had the air, um, air superiority and whatnot, um, airplanes being developed and utilizing war. But then by the time you get to World War Two, you start getting bombers, you get different like Spitfires, you get a variety of, of airborne threats where man could just come through and, and duffy the tank. So even, even though the scale of those two, it's going to be outshot. So it says, um, uh, such as, as never was since there was a nation, even to, the, to that same time. And at that time, that people shall be delivered, every one that should be found written in the book. And yeah, you can have out of the so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, or the Israelites, those of the elect among them will be delivered. But it's still going to be a massive amount of death. And as well, it says, like, the righteous will scarcely make it. If you're watching the missiles flying, and they get beamed up from current. It won't be until until the, the you know the very very end where we'll really get the escape. You read this as well. As far as for the famine, give you give you some visual imagery. Uh, Lamentation because even with the famine, it's like Sri Lanka's a new one, but there's been um, like Venezuela, and there's going to be more. Because even with I was, video I was watching, they said. Um, Pakistan's having a similar issue that Sri Lanka has as far as for like imports and the availability of certain things. That's the thing is, is it's not just going to end with Sri Lanka or whatever. That's going to become a global issue. Because just as Sri Lanka's cut off exports, once a crisis hits, everyone's going to start cutting off exports. And there's a wide variety of things, especially with the US and the UK. They're huge uh, consumer countries, huge importers. They're relying on a wide variety of things to be employed. Once those things start getting short, it's, it's, it's going to get a mess. People aren't really, people aren't really preppers. People aren't really stacking, um, you know, thinking of the future. And when they do, it'll be like with China. China was for the last like six months, maybe plus, before the invasion. They were stacking grain. They were buying up shit. They said like the grain market. The international grain market was done out because China was buying it out on the regular, saying that they had like a year and a half worth of grain and they were still buying more to, to stockpile. So these guys were prepping for, you know, for long scale uh, war, basically being cut off like um, Russia's cut off now from sanctions. But these, a lot of these Western countries ain't prepped. So it's Lamentations Form 1. How has the gold become dim? How has the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out on the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold. How are they esteemed as urban pictures? The works of the hands of the farm. That's a, yeah. It was, it was basically going from a, a, a position of the utmost shine, being a, a, an example on the planet Earth, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh basically a representation of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh That's one of the key roles uh, Israel is meant to play on the planet Earth. <laughs> and it says what? Now steamed as urban pictures. So that would be like um, what they call it, a chamber pot, which is basically used for taking a dump, man. An urban pictures is basically, um, what would be the word, man? It's, it's, it's something that's um, not temporary. Disposable. So it says, even the sea monsters wore out the breast, they give suck to their young ones. The door of my people would become cruel like the ostriches to the devil. The tongue of the sucking child cleaveth to the roof of his mouth. But first, yeah, they, 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 they would have put their mouth to the breast and nothing would have come out. Because they ain't had no food, no fluids to even convert. Hell. 
the young children ask bread and no man break it onto them. We like just during uh, what was it 20, 2010 the Haiti uh, 2010 would have been when the Haiti um, earthquake happened. Man would have been eating shit. Um, the, the what they call it? Uh, it was a particular term. Man. But it was, it was now in my head. It's, it's, it's a medieval term. Dung pies. It basically would have, would have just been shit cakes, man. Something cakes. I can't remember the time, man. But they would have just been eating um, mud. Oh, mud cakes. Yeah, yeah. they would have just been eating mud cakes. That would have been it. And, and yeah, that's hell on earth. You saw them men out there eating, eating mud cakes. Sometimes you have to eat shit to survive. <laughs> but hey, that's that's what happens when uh, a legendary level of crisis hits. So it says, and no man, uh, it says. They that fe uh, did feed delicately are desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in scarlet embrace, dunghills. For the punishment of the iniquity of the door of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom. For the, that was overthrown in a moment and no hand stayed on it. So even then, what went down at this time was worse than what, what uh, was received by Sodom and Gomorrah. And then that's what, what's going to happen now is going to outweigh that completely. All these things are basically going to be put in perspective. It's going to be on a scale of destruction because a, a good, a good uh, measure to use is um, Egypt. And then you go through the different verses. Egypt was so legendary. The firstborn of every Egyptian got smoke. Which that 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 was the, what what broke them. And then and then you had Israel come out after rubbing these men. So even that is, is going to pale in comparison to what's going down now. Like it says, just as, you know, we'll, we'll get, we'll gain the riches. It said in, um, uh, what's it called? James 5, that what you eat, uh, treasure to them for the last days. So that's going to be something where, you know, we'll get fame, we'll get riches. And really, the name Yahweh and the name Yahweh Shai, those two are going to get the most faith and the claim for the whole situation. Because that's just at the same time, previously with, um, with uh, what do you call it, in Egypt, where the name of Yahweh uh, rang out, everyone knew, it's going to be the same thing now with the fall of America. Uh, it says, her Nazarites were purer than snow, they were whiter than milk, they were more ruddy in body than rubies, their polishing was of sapphire, their visage was blacker than a coal, they are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaveth to their bones. It is withered. It has become like a stick. Yeah, done out. That famine slaughtered them. It says what? They to be slain with the sword are better than they, they to be slain with hunger. But these pine away, stricken through for one of the fruits of the field. And that's the thing as well. When you get into a circumstance where um, there's like a siege being held, just like what happened in, uh, in Jerusalem. Then you don't even have a, <laughs> you have a limited say in the matter, man. But these, you know, these, these are the terrors that we've visited previously upon the world. And what we're coming into now is going to be something that's going to outscale all of them. It's going to be legendary. So it says, uh, second Peter, no, second Peter 3 and 5 says, For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world then was being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth which are now, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Like the flood was, was such a such a level of devastation. And what all, all the, the nations that split off after the flood, they all kept they all kept records of, of, of what went down. Because they got they got um, everyone knew. The 
Lord went up, went on a level of was completely uh, a, a level of destruction that hadn't been seen for a while. And now the what the second death is being compared to it, but you utilizing fire and drowning is one kind of hell, but burning alive is 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 but is, is fucking that shit is terrible. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there. Um, shalom, Yahweh Shalom.